At the age of 61, Amy Roloff first decided to confess her love to Chris Marrick. It wasn't by shouting from the rooftop or whispering in a moonlit garden. No, it was something even more personal and, dare I say, charmingly cautious. Amy hinted, in her characteristically playful way, that her first I love you was not spoken but written, perhaps hidden in the folds of a heartfelt card. As the couple laughed through a game Us Weekly designed for them, it became clear that love can find its voice in countless ways. Imagine that Amy and Chris, sailing in the same boat of life at 61, agreed that Amy was the one who dared to say those three magic words first. Although the exact moment seems lost in time, Amy's confidence in choosing a special message rather than a direct statement speaks to their understanding and patience with each other. Amy reflected on the decision, saying, I knew that with Chris, a man who had never been tied down by marriage or fatherhood, it was crucial for one of us to break the ice after a long period of dating. And let's be honest, waiting for the perfect moment is like waiting for a bus in a ghost town. Sometimes, you just have to grab the best moment that comes along. As Chris reflected on this pivotal moment, he couldn't help but tease that receiving the love note was a little easier for him because he had the opportunity to digest and react to Amy's words in private. However, he quickly became sentimental, praising Amy's card-giving skills. I'm not kidding. She gives at least three cards for any occasion, each one filled with words that can melt even the coldest hearts. He confessed with a love that could warm a room. Fast forward to August 2021, when after a five-year romance, Amy and Chris decided to tie the knot in a fairy tale like ceremony set against the backdrop of Roloff Farms. It was not just a location, but a place connected to memories of Amy's past life with her ex-husband Matt Roloff and their four children. The decision to celebrate their new beginning in such a meaningful place is a testament to the strength and grace with which Amy manages her life. However, the tapestry of life is complex. After separating from Matt in 2015, Amy sold her share of the farm, which led to Matt converting it into a rental property. Amy's frank reflections on how her former home has become something impersonal demonstrate the resilience and slight melancholy caused by the passage of time and the changes it brings. So, what do you think about Amy and Chris's unconventional but deeply romantic expression of love? Is it safer to write down your feelings than to speak them out loud? Share your thoughts in the comments below. I'd love to hear your take on this. And if you enjoyed this glimpse into the lives of one of the cutest couples on television, don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the notification button for more stories that make us smile, think, and sometimes even shed a tear. Until next time, Max was with you. Remember that love finds its way, whether it's through words spoken, letters written, or simply through the way we choose to be around each other. Take care and see you in the next video.